Anomaly and this is a video all about color. I have tons of color and I use the color brand matrix. I use So Color, Color Sync, Color Graphics, and V Lights. And um, I'm just going to go over everything and give you kind of like a quick lesson on the matrix line. This video was requested a few months ago and I am so sorry. Um, that I did not get it out as soon as I should have. So let's get started. We got a lot to go over. Uh, we're going to start out with color sync. Color sync is the demi permanent line of Matrix. And one of the cool things about Matrix is when they do a color, they do it in the tone. It's not when you, when you see a swatch of color, it's done on the same tone that the same tone of the color. So like if you had a three R a three V, which is a three violet. This color was actually done on a level 3. So a level 3 is about a, a dark brown. So it does it on the exact color instead of doing it on extremely blonde color. And that's the reason why you get some unpredictable colors in some color lines because a lot of their vibrant colors are done on pale hair. So that's one of the cool things about Color Matrix. And I like the color sync line. It does last a while. It is demi permanent, which means that you do have to use a developer. Um, you use a 10 volume developer. And this is what the developer looks like. Use a 10 volume developer you, you, because it's a deposit only color. It's not going to lift the hair color. So say you want to go from a 3N you want to go from this color to this color you cannot do that with color sync because it's a demi permanent it's a deposit only it's only going to give you the tone of the tone of your hair so um, if you're a 3 or a 1 you need to pick another one or three in that area if you want to use this demi permanent. Now, Color Sync also offers toners. And the toners that I like is the SPV, SPA, and SPN. I don't have, let me see here. This is SPN. And SPN is Sheer Pastel Natural, SPA is Sheer Pastel Ash, SPV is Sheer Pastel Violet. And those are used to get orange, yellow, uh, copper colors out of the hair once you bleach it. And you, you use this for 20 minutes, 10 or 20 volume developer. Um, you really just have to watch it. Because if you don't, like on a really high blonde, you may turn the hair violet. It may turn silver if it's violet or it may turn green if it's ash. So yeah, you have to watch it and just play it by sight and then rinse them out. Don't leave them for 20 minutes without watch, watching your client. And Color Sync also have some color additives. Um, I have a few, which I have high definition copper red, high definition red violet, and high definition red red. These are your vibrant, vibrant colors. So um, these are best done over bleached hair. So you would lighten the hair, pre-lighten the hair, and then use these. Um, they are super red. You can add them to other um, color sync colors to uh, make a red more pop more it's kind of like a red booster so that's that now we're going to move oh and I also have blue 
and regular red as color additives. So you can add those to your color sync colors and make them more intense. This is all. That's all color sync. Now on to so color. I love so color. It is a permanent color. I like so color because you can lift the hair four levels. So say you're a two and you want to be a six. Or say you're a four and you want to be an eight. Say you're four and you want to get to this color. You can do that with the so color without pre-lightening the hair. And pre-lightening is bleach. You can do that without pre-lightening. Um, that's one of the cool things about um, so color, the permanent line. I know that I don't know if all permanent colors do it, but I know that this color line does it. So you can use a 40 volume for four levels of lift, 30 volume for three levels of lift. 20 volume for two levels of lift and a 10 volume for a deposit only. Now, I always go, like if I want to lift it three levels, I use a 40 just to make sure that I get the color that I want um, because 10 is deposit only. So that's just me. Now, I do have some color additives in the soul color. We have a red booster. Um, this is for Mocha. I have tons of color and I will give you a shot of the, the color collection that I have. This is my color stash. And that's not even including all the color that I just showed you. But um, that's so color. And that is our permanent line. Now let's talk about lighteners. There's a couple of different lighteners now. This particular lightener is an Ultra Lift Permanent Cream Color. It's for blondes. They have it in Ash, ash Blonde, Ultra Light Ash Blonde, Ultra Light Cool Blonde, Ultra Light Neutral Blonde. Ultralight Pellis Ash Blonde and Ultralight Pellis Neutral Blonde. So you have a lot of different um, options with this. And this is permanent. And the maximum lightening and toning in one step delivers up to four levels of lift on natural hair, natural level hair five or higher. And a five natural color would be this. That's a five inch. So you could take this, use the ultra lightning, it's going to tone the hair and it's going to lift the hair up to five levels. So you can go from a five to a ten in one step. That's one of the cool things about this. Is it's it's so cool and it's three ounces. The color sink comes in two ounces, so color comes in three ounces, so that's a lot of product. Um, I like to use this. This is what I'm using now to lift um, the knots on closures because it's one step. I don't have to lighten it and then go back and tone it. It's, it's done in one step. Now on to lighteners. The first lightener I want to talk about is Color Graphics. And Color Graphics is a high speed lightning powder and it it's white. And process is in 10 minutes. So if you are slow at adding uh, bleach to people's hair, or slower doing highlights, 
this is not the bleach for you. Um, this one uses special developer. You use an 8 for subtle lightning and a 22 for the maximum lightning. And you can also use these toners. Now one of the cool things about this, okay, there's a con to using the color graphics. The con is that you have to have natural colored hair. It cannot be previously colored or it's not going to lift. So if the hair has never been bleached and it's never been colored, this is a cool way to lift the hair prior to depositing a color. Now this also comes with, I have four of their toners. You mix this in with the powder and the developer. I have grape toner, spearmint toner, caramel, and blueberry toner. Now why do you need those colors? Why do you need to add purple, greens, reds to hair? Get you a color wheel if you don't understand color. If you have dark hair, let's see here if I can get it. Okay. If you have dark hair, like a one, two, or a three, your underlining pigment color when you bleach is going to be red. And to neutralize that, you're going to need green. So if you know it's going, your hair is going to pull red. Then you're going to use, if the color will, if you point it to red, it'll point to green. Green will neutralize the red. So that's how you get a neutral color. Um, if your hair is a seven, which is dark blonde, it's going to pull gold. And then you're going to need an ash to cover that, and that's going to be blue. So then you would add a blue toner. Or you can add the SPV, I mean the SPA, which is sheer pastel ash, to pull out some of that gold. Now pale yellow, like when you get urine colored hair, you can use a light ash blonde to neutralize that, which is just a light blue, a little bit of blue. And this, it's nice to, like I have, I have this guide, even though I know the color line, if you haven't done something for a while or you're not doing color services for a while, it's helpful to have something written to go by. And then I also have this, which is a kit that just, it has all the matrix stuff and it even has like different ways to foil the hair um, and it has these inserts that show all the colors available for the color sink this is color sink all the colors available for color sink all the colors available for color so color and then on the back, it tells you how long the process, um, what each type of um, color, what it does. Because um, some, some of it is to cover gray, and some of it's to get blonde, and there's a lot of different things. I'm just giving you the basics of the matrix color line. So, moving along. We talked about color graphics. Now, V-Lights. I don't have the V-Lights bottle because I threw it away. But it is 
Yeah, I barely have anything left. It's purple. It can process 30, 30 minutes. It's off the scalp. You can use it with this lightener. Um, you can use it with 10, 20, 30, 40 volume developer. And the, the volume of developers is the level of lift. But 10 volume is deposit. So if you want to lift the hair, I will start with a 20 and go up. So for the maximum lift, four levels. And I did have a level... A level key but I can't find it that bleach can be used on hair that's been previous colored um, hair that's been previous bleached um, it's going to do the job now I've picked up some hair some hair bleach from Sally's because it was on sale and I've ran out of my V lights and I picked up Collada colors and um, blue and this stuff is the truth like these are conditioning but they're not as potent as this I think this does more damage to your hair than these do but like if you want to lift quickly and you want to get that color that you're going for this can lift up to five levels and it's for black to medium blonde hair. So it's pretty cool. And I can use it with my Matrix volume de um, developers. Oh, I'm knocking stuff over. Okay. Now that we got the color out the way. Aftercare. If your hair is colored, you need to use products that are for color treated hair. Um... I like Brecken. I'm not crazy about it. It's not my favorite line. Um, their hair color is not my favorite either. It doesn't last long. Um, some people don't like Matrix because they say it doesn't last long either. But um, this is a good one. It's called Color Extend. And you can get these duos around Christmas time at Master Cuts or Regis or smart style in Walmart for really cheap prices and then when the season's over they're they're on clearance so they're like 50% off then but this is the color extend and it's to make the hair um, the color last longer now if you're going blonde or if you have a lady that has gray hair a great shampoo to tone with or to keep the hair toned um, is Shimmering Light Shampoo. It's for blonde and silver hair. You can pick this up at Sally's. And it's a purple shampoo. Um, Matrix makes a so silver shampoo, which is very similar to this, and it works great as well. Now, Paul Mitchell has a Color Protect shampoo that I also use on color treated hair. And then they have a conditioner called the conditioner. This conditioner is the truth on Caucasian hair, um, Indian hair, Brazilian hair. As soon as you put it on, you automatically feel like a softening effect to the hair. This is some great stuff. And then also, you're going to need to keep moisture in your hair. Um, hair has to be moisturized or you're going to start getting split ends and stuff that you do not want. So another great product, um, which I don't have. Great product line is It's a 10. This is the Miracle Shampoo Plus Keratin. And then I also have the mask. It's a, it's a 10 hair mask. And I also have the leave-in conditioner, which is It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This is a sample. Um, but um, at Cosmoprof, I, whenever you buy something, they give you samples. 
And this stuff is like $10 and above. So I was like, hey, okay, thank you. Because I go through this a lot. It detangles, repairs dry damaged hair, controls frizz, seal and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, flat iron spray, and thermal protector. This stuff is the truth. Okay, and then also this stuff right here is called Moisture Hydration. It's a moisture cure by Matrix. And this is kind of like a leave-in conditioner too. It adds moisture to the hair. Now that is everything. And I don't know what else I left out. Oh, for wild colors, if you're looking for some wild, semi-permanent color, this is great color. Um, it's by Provana. And it's called Chroma Silk Vivids. And I do have... It comes in wild orchid. Like I'll just show you if I can get it. It comes in a lot of different shades. It comes in yellow, orange, red, pink, magenta, violet, blue, green, silver, clear, wild orchid, which is like a fuchsia color. I have red. And I have pink, which is like a powder pink. And you don't need to add developer to this. This is a semi-permanent. It's three flooring ounces. The only thing I don't like about this is since it's three flooring ounces and you don't need to add developer, you have to use a lot. And it's not good for coloring cheap extensions like you can, you know, sometimes you can buy some blonde extensions and throw some semi-color on it and it will take. This is not for that. This is for real hair and it does a wonderful job. My son had a mohawk over the summer. Well, not over the summer. Last year, all last year. And the tips of his mohawk Here is the cut and color I did on my son's hair. I cut his mohawk and colored it purple on the tips. And that's the Provana Violet. And as you can see, it's very purple. And here's a picture of some ombre I did with Provana. It's teal, blue, and a magenta. Thank you for watching. I know this was a basic video, but this is a great line to start out with because it's easy to follow. It's easy to mix. Um, there's so many products that they have available. They do have some other colors like logics um is another line of color and then they have the color insider which is pretty cool um but i don't know too much about those two products so i'm not going to go into detail about that but um thank you for watching and i hope that you subscribe and thank you to all my other subscribers and to the subscriber that requested this video i do apologize for taking so long to do it um but here it is thank you so much bye